everyone. Happy Sabbath to you and your beautiful families. The title of today's children's story is The Tower of Babel. How many languages do you speak? Do you speak English? Okay. How about Spanish or Japanese? Okay. Let us try saying hello in several different languages today. Hola. Ciao. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Aloha. Ni hao. Jumbo. Great! Now you know how to say hello in a different language. Speaking of languages, today's story will talk about how we ended up with so many languages. And it's also about pride. What is pride? Pride is when you think you are better than someone else. When we think we are better than others, we also start to think we don't need God and that we can handle everything on our own. It can also mean to be proud in your, your own abilities or qualities. Having too much pride can be like this. Putting your thoughts and feelings first and not caring about how the other person feels. So, let me tell you where this all started. In your Bible, turn to Genesis 11 verses 1 through 9. Follow along with me as I tell you the story of the Tower of Babel. Everything was going great. People were traveling, trying to settle down, and they journeyed from the east, and they came across a plain in the land of Shinar. And the king of Shinar was King Nimrod. At that time, the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. The people then decided they were going to build a city and a tower whose top would reach heaven. So the people went to work making bricks for the tower. It was hard work, but the people wanted everyone to know that they made the tower that reached heaven. So they just worked that much harder. The people also convinced themselves that building the tower they would stay united and would not be scattered. Their pride had taken over at this point too, and all they were thinking about was that they would be known in all the world for building the biggest and best tower ever. God could see what was happening and decided to come down to earth and see the tower the people were building. God could tell the people's hearts were no more focused on him and they were only focusing on themselves and the tower. He was disappointed and angry with them. God said, I see that the people think they can do anything because they all speak the same language. They have already begun to turn away from me and soon there will not be anything good left on this earth. All there will be is sin. I will mix up their language so they won't understand each other. This way, they won't be able to work together to sin against me. After God said this, the people could no longer understand each other. It seemed like they were babbling and making funny noises. All the people suddenly spoke different languages. Some spoke French. Bonjour. Some spoke Spanish. Hola. Others, Chinese, and many, 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 many other languages. They were very confused. And so, this was the beginning of the languages. From there, the Lord scattered the people all over the whole earth. It is interesting because when people started building the Tower of Babel, Babel meant gateway to God. But, after God mixed up their language, it meant confusion. Even the word Babel 
that we use today is said to come from that day when everyone was babbling with confusion. So you can see how God does not like it when we're filled with pride. The people could have done amazing things for God when they all spoke the same language, and they could have been unified that way. Instead, they decided to do something against God's will and build a tower just so other people would notice them and call them great. The opposite of pride is humility, or to be humble. The way you can be humble is by realizing that everyone is special. Each of us might have our own way of doing things, and we may be very good at some things, but we're all special in God's eyes. If you want to be humble, remember to listen to your parents and those in authority. Be kind to others instead of putting them down. And don't forget to read your Bible and pray. By doing these things, you are not just focusing on yourself. After all, pride just brings destruction. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for helping us to work together as your church. We pray you will help us not to focus on ourselves and get prideful about what we can do. But remember to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your Sabbath. Bye.